And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rapping like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, you already know what it's doing, what it does. So, check this out. I know a lot of people have been asking. Twitter, the Twitterverse is on fire. Everybody wants to know what is the word, what is going on with this breaking news, this thing that's going on with none other than Drake. Salute to Drake, everything that he does personally and professionally. He's having a partnership deal with Caffeine and URL, the Ultimate Rappers League. Um, what it's looking like, what it looks like, is that Drake is using his influence culturally, his relevance and what he's done as far as a rapper, to bring more light onto battle rap. And obviously, this is a pretty big deal. It's sounding like big bags, big money is involved. Go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. Also, ricegang.myshopify.com. The Go Find That Man is available. And there's something else on there, too, if you was checking out for the merchandise. But, so it looks like... Big deal has been put in place to, uh, you know, get battle rap streamed on bigger, bigger platforms and to get, you know, more eyes on it. CNN Business says Drake will stream rap battles exclusively on Caffeine, a platform run by ex-Apple employees. Um, another, another, some more words that came out from URL says Caffeine. This is how it works. URL TV event will stream live on Caffeine on the day of the event. It will only stream once for free. There's no VOD. The exclusive content from that event will drop on the URL TV app later on. You can tune in and watch live on the day of the event, followed by by following calf.tv slash URL TV for free. So what what I've gathered, what I've gathered is that it's gonna be more like how sporting events are ran, like the Super Bowl will play while it happens live. Then after that, there won't be any more VOD. So no more VOD, no more watch battle live, no more having to pay 55. Now you can watch the battles while they happen. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a dope thing because I know there was a lot of people who are fans of battle rap and of the battle rap culture and are not able to catch every single event that goes on with URL, the Ultimate Rap League, because they cannot afford, you know, the $55 or whatever the case may be. I see a lot of people complaining. Oh, but what I heard was the whole event will not be on the app. It looks like it'll be like three or four battles at the event, then the rest of it will uh, be on the app. Uh, Drizzy Drake himself jumped on Twitter and said, URL Times Caffeine, excited to announce this major step forward. I managed to get URL TV and Caffeine linked with the objective of making battle rap easier to access in your home, on your mobile device, and it's for free. To watch battles once you signed up, greatness simplified. Um, obviously, like I said, um, big bags, big deals involved, and if done the right way, it could it could give more eyes to battle rap. You know what I'm saying? More people will see battle rap. More people will be in tune with what goes on, rather than you know the demographic of people that are. So as long, my personal thing is as long as nothing changes as far as with the authenticity of what we're used to, I think it should be it's a positive thing because. We'll, who would want more than to have more eyes on battle rap? You know what I'm saying? Like more people watching, more people tuning in, and more people involved could only help grow and elevate what we already have grown to know, and it'll help make superstars. Hopefully, the guys that are involved on that level get paid more. Hopefully, you know, bigger bags and bigger things come out of this for all parties that are involved. Because in order to separate, in order to elevate, you have to separate, and that's what uh, it looks like what's going on with deals like this, the separation will come. Now for others, there's still YouTube, there's still platforms out there where battle rap will exist. But uh, from what I've seen, I did sign up for the um, Caffeine app. It looks like more of a gamers type platform, but from the looks of things as Drake, because where Drake goes, his followers are gonna go. Drake has hundreds and hundreds of thousands and millions of followers on every single platform. So where he goes and where his attention goes, people are gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the way things go. Um, I had a lot of people asking a lot of questions and I don't really know everything, all of the ins and outs as to what is going on with it. I'm still reading into things, 
But um, John John the Don said, Drake just made it lit for battle rap. Watch how many vultures get involved again. And I'm going to say to all the battle rappers, raise your price. Verb then replied, you can only say he's making it lit if he's doing it for free. This is a business deal for all parties involved, URL2. That means some money was made. Now let's see what rappers do it for the likes and which ones do this to feed they people. Everybody's going to have their own perspective and correspondence to what's going on here. Obviously, like I said, when you look at things from the perspective of there's no more pay-per-views, that was a big chunk of paper. Let's not even front. The pay-per-view was a big chunk of bread. So if that was one of the main ways that paper was being made, obviously, if, you, if you're taking that away and having people see things for free, because people say free, but free, you know, free is never really free. Free comes with a fee. It's a free fee. A free fee, fee, free, free, free. But um, what I will say is that it has the potential to do big things. I know there's a lot of people who said things about the app when the app first came around, but then the app started to do things to try to improve its processes too. Um, what I will say, for those who are asking, because like I said, a lot of people are asking, they come to you, they want to know. I would say check into it. You can subscribe for free. You can see an event for free. If you can see an event for free, I think that's a win all around because like, um, like I said earlier in this, you have people who really can't stay up with every single pay-per-view, you know what I mean? But now that the pay-per-view is no longer going to be a thing, I think that's a win. And I think the app will stay relevant because every battle is not going to be released on the caffeine. So there's still going to be ones that you want to see. And then the app is still promising to do app-only events, you know what I'm saying? So they still are going to have ways to keep material flowing through because if you're just having everything shown for free that's going to take away so peter you know what i'm saying peter can't rob paul you know what i'm saying so it, it, it will it will hopefully um lead to bigger things bigger crowds bigger venues and um bigger marketing you know what i'm saying i think that's a um that's kind of like what this is what's going on here and it's a joint venture obviously when you got drake involved one of the biggest the biggest rapper in the world, you know what I'm saying? You would hope that he's doing it from a genuine place. But from what I've seen and what I've known from him, he is an actual fan of battle rap. And he's been watching it for a while, like way back in the day. So hopefully it, it turns into something that's, that's lucrative for all parties involved. And you would just hope to see that these guys continue to rise because they deserve it. We've seen folks like the Hitman Hollers, like the Charlie Clips, like the Conceiteds and others, what they've done when they've got big platforms and they've been able to uh, build their brains, you know what I'm saying? Hitman Holla has a million followers on um, Instagram. Uh, Conceited has his million, you know what I mean? These guys are able to feed their families. I think that's what it is, creating wealth, you know what I'm saying? Like being able to feed your families rather than just having a battle here, a battle there, 500, 500. You're not really making no money. You only, your money's going from hand to mouth. You ain't really capitalizing off of that. I think the guys that are actually putting forth the footwork and are actually coming up with the content that we're entertained by need to be uh you know looked after in, in bigger ways you know what i'm saying that and then when that happens you people wouldn't battle every single week you know what i'm saying you have some battle rappers that are pretty good but they're battling every week and you're like why are these guys battling every fucking week their content is getting ran down because they not they probably not making what they want to make so hopefully you know that leads to uh Bigger and better things for them. Um, Showtime SP will be back tonight. We will be recapping the battles that y'all wanted us to recap. We will recap Chef Trez vs. A Ward. We will be recapping Rum Nitty vs. Big T. That was actually a very, very, very good battle. We got an interesting perspective on that. Uh, you got to see those recaps. And um, we'll be getting into a lot of other things. You know what I'm saying? We'll um, be revving up the content, putting more stuff out. You know what I'm saying? And I know that the people want to see and want to hear about, you know what I'm saying, and I'll be ready to smoke his boots on a, on a daily basis like I normally do, you know what I'm saying, like, get your man, go find that man, and don't come back until you find that man, get your mans. Um, other than that, I hope everybody's doing well out there, you know what I'm saying, it's the, it's the, it's the new week, Tuesday, you know what I'm saying, we, 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 str we, we, we struggling because the weekend's over, but you know, we, we grinding through this thing, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot going on out here, um, I did see update on Kobe Bryant. His funeral actually happened last Friday. It was private. It was a private ceremony, and I think that that was what was probably the best thing. Cause I don't know if they couldn't have announced that to the whole world. Like that would have been crazy. They, 
people would have, like, even though it's a time period where you would want people to be respectful, people wouldn't have been respectful. They would have been trying to come up there. It would have been just, it would have been nasty. It would have been nasty for all parties involved. So the fact that they was able to do it privately and get that out the way, because it's never easy, but once the actual funeral happens, it starts to help with the healing process, but it's never going to be easy for his family. I think that that was actually a, a pretty smart thing to do. I must say it was smart, but uh, overall, yeah, I wanted to come and tell y'all, you know what I'm saying, um, the folks that subscribe to my channel, you know what I'm saying, that want to know what's going on out there. Drizzy Drake, tell me what's really going on. Has partnered with the URL, you know what I'm saying, they're going to bring battle rap. For free, no more pay-per-views, you know what I'm saying? We'll see how that goes. But other than that, you already know what to do and what it does, so you gotta ask for the boss. Yeah, heard?